enabling our people to have access to good jobs and good opportunities is the purpose for developing a strong economy. A vibrant economy creates the jobs and opportunities for our people to be at their best. The SG United Jobs and Skills Package is a key pillar in our industry transformation to enable Singaporeans to learn and thrive as our jobs and workplace change and as businesses transform. To enable our people to take on these new jobs, I will allocate an additional $5.4 billion to a second tranche of the Jobs and Skills Package on top of the $3 billion allocated last year. Of this, $5.2 billion will be allocated to JGI to extend the hiring incentive hiring window by seven months up to end September 2021. As we head into a more technologically intensive and innovation-driven economy, we must also groom leaders in innovation and enterprise, especially in deep technology areas. The NRF will be supporting about 500 fellowships under the new Innovation and Enterprise Fellowship Program, or IFP, over the next five years to meet needs in areas such as cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and health tech. It will work with a range of partners, including accelerators, venture capital firms, and deep tech startups. Our healthcare workers have, over the years, been working hard to provide us with the highest quality of care. Since COVID-19 hit, their exemplary commitment has shone through. Once again, let me express our deepest appreciation to all healthcare workers for your dedication in fighting the pandemic. We'll enhance the salary of our nurses and other healthcare workers, such as support care staff. This will apply to workers across public healthcare institutions and publicly funded community hospitals and long-term care service providers.